Like I just seen the shit with him. He locked up right now. I think for oh, some he? shit in Atlanta. I don't know, man. It's just I don't know what's real or fake with him anymore. Yeah, I seen that him and FYB Jermaine yeah. posted it. He recently got locked. I don't know if it was a skit. If it That's was what I'm saying. Either. I don't know. And it's yeah. like, in a sense, it's like that still stems from that one moment. It's like. It's like I'm labeled as a goofy now, so I might just be goofy forever. But that's some like boy who cried wolf shit because literally we're watching a clip of him getting arrested by a police officer, putting him in handcuffs, and we're still all like, I don't know. I don't it might be fake. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I swear, no, that's real shit though. Because he done did so much shit. Yeah. After, it's like, and I done talked to him. Like, bro, yeah. chill out, bro. How did y'all get cool? Like, you apologized to him or something one day, and then y'all kind of like yeah, built up for Um, as a man, you know. Uh, man, listen, man. As you grow older, man, you got to take accountability for your actions, right? Yeah. So I, I, I have to take accountability for putting him in this because it's like, like I say, this shit to dragged over 12, 14, 13 years now. Yeah. It's like they still fucking with this kid over this shit. And it's like, I'm like, man, you know, my bad, man. You know, you was at the wrong place at the wrong time, man. You but know did, what I'm did that change life for you in the streets in the sense that all of a sudden you're like well known for fucking with people in I, that. No, I've been who I've been. But you're like used to like reckless being the one who's doing the crazy shit on social media and now all of a sudden people have seen you doing some wild ass shit on social and, media. And you know what? That's crazy, right? Be did you say that? Yeah, because after that, everybody always, now they just expected me to do shit on camera for it's like that ain't even me, bro. Like yeah. I don't like I'm not with all that. So now now every time everybody expect the Ewo to do something wild and Yeah, now we oh, thought you were crazy was like, after that video for and sure. I'm not. So all right, you said you talked to AOKD. So like now that you see the push and peace moving and stuff, is there is it a point where you and Flip could ever talk or is it too far gone? Um if we talking about the push and peace movement, could you and his like I don't know how serious how could, how, how could I say no? That that'd be me being a hypocrite, right? When the disrespect is like ten plus years um, ago. Like I was saying before, you know, before we start the interview, it's like, yeah, everything that went on that went on, but then it's like, when does it stop though? Mm. Right? Who's gonna be brave enough to be like, I right, it stops with me? Right, so for me to say I will, I'm not open to having a conversation with him, that'll be me being a hypocrite, and I'm not that. Right, yeah. it's a lot of things that happen, man. Blood shed on every side, on every side. Right, like so, it's like who who knows, who knows? Because you know, if if you were to run into him when you're both fifty, it's very unlikely that you're still going to be hung up on it, right? At, so at you point, might as well just accept it now. Hey. We both did fucked up shit. We both did disrespectful shit. Let's put it behind us so that we can hopefully influence these kids. And that's the right thought what you just said is the most important, right? Mm. To be able to be the face that influences them. Like, fuck what we got going on. Mm -hmm. What didn't happen with us didn't happen. If we don't stand up and be an example, it's going to keep happening. And I got a 15-year-old son. It's going to end up happening with him then. Mm. And who's to say he don't be the one to catch it? Well, he don't be the one to give it and be locked up forever, right? So if we don't stand up and be like, hey, bro, we got to be some type of example, man, we, we, we failing as leaders. We failing as influencers. We call ourselves influencers. What, what, we, what we influencing? Right. What type of influence are we having? Because think about the model you're setting for your son. If you could explain to him, like, listen, this is a dude who disrespected my dead homies, and we had this and this and this happen between us, but that shit doesn't really mean anything at the end of the day. I'm a bigger than I'm, I'm going to be the bigger man. And we, we be, at the end of the day, the the, ulterior, the the goal, the main goal is bigger than that. That's the kind of model that you need to set for right. a teenage boy, you know? No, nah, for real. The main goal is is um, taking care of humanity and having unity, right, yeah. as, as a people. Not even just Chicagoans or black people or white people. Or as, it's just people. We all human beings at the end of the day. We all bleed red. So... That's the goal for humanity. And like I said, that's why I, me personally, I don't partake in drill music anymore mm. because the narrative that it pushes and the message that it pushes is not, that's not where I'm at in, in my life anymore. 